Another thing that we have to understand before we start programming is modal groups. Modal groups will help you memorize codes and what these codes do inside this group. No more than one code in a modal group can be active at any time. For instance, group one is the motion command group. Now, in the motion command group, only one code in that group can be used at any time. Now, as soon as you use another code from that group, it is now active and it will disable the previous code from that group. We have great control over a CNC machine when we start creating block sequences and then starting the cycle, starting the machine, letting that machine run that program. The machine will do exactly as we have programmed with no regard for what tool is in the spindle, where the part is, or anything else. That's why it is imperative to be sure that what we are programming is what we actually want to do on that machine, what we actually want to cut. Is it the actual tool path that we intended to use? We need to be sure of all of these things before we hit cycle start on that machine. These codes need to be memorized. There's no other way to do this. And there are many codes. But just like any language, the more we practice, the more we use the codes for CNC programming, uh, the easier it will be to remember them and remember what they do. As you learn each code, try and remember the word, its meaning, and imagine the machine performing that function or that movement. This will help you remember the codes that you are about to learn.